guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Annabelle and I am otherwise known as Annabelle Sophia on my social medias. And today, I think this is going to be my first YouTube video. I'm doing this because I've gotten so many requests, um, so many questions, so many DMs, so I figured I'm already so bad at responding. Why not just answer everybody's questions in a YouTube video? Make it easier for everybody. And um, it's just been a long time coming. I've always had people ask me to do YouTube videos. And I finally just went and bought the equipment and decided why not? This is something to do. It's a hobby. So here we are. Welcome to my channel. I hope you guys um, enjoy this. And I hope I get to everybody's questions. Um, I'm going to try to be as, like, open as possible. Um, so, yeah, this is about my BBL experience. I recently did get my body done. I got 360 lipo and BBL. What that means is that I took all of the fat from my flank area, my lower back, and my stomach, and... I took it all out and put it all in my butt. I am currently sitting on a BBL pillow because um, I got my procedure done about four, maybe four and a half weeks ago. No, it's been four weeks. Like four weeks and like two days. And you can't sit on your butt for three months. I feel like when they told me this, I didn't realize how hard it is to actually not sit down on your butt. This is what a BBL pillow looks like. It sits underneath my thighs, underneath like my butt cheeks. If I were to stand up, it would be like right underneath my butt cheeks. And basically what it does is it just makes me put all of my weight on my thighs and takes all of the pressure off of my bum. It's not super comfortable. Um, but you can make it kind of comfortable. You just got to make it work because, sister, you cannot sit on your butt. You know, mess it up. Don't want to mess up all that money you spent. So, anyways, um, I have decided to be more open about my surgery. There's two reasons because I previously had no butt and I knew that I can't just pop out with a butt and tell everybody I've been working out. Like, for one, I'm not a good liar. For two, that seems like a lot of fucking work. And for three, like, who's going to believe that? I literally had no bum. So, um, yeah. But I've also realized being more open about this, there is, like, sometimes shade being thrown my way. So I understand why women don't like to be open about um, getting surgery because there is so much like shit talking and negativeness with getting work done but I really don't care I feel like I've dealt with that type of stuff my whole life so it doesn't bother me um, anyways let's start with the most important part is my surgeon um, I literally am so happy with who I picked I had three consultations um, one in Miami one in LA and one here. My first two consultations were virtual. Obviously it's coronavirus and I did not travel to Miami and LA just to get a consultation. Um, and those two first consultations didn't really do it for me. I don't think it was the virtual part. It was literally like the surgeon, the personalities, the bedside manner. Um, and really they were just telling me what they wanted to do to me and what they think I should do with my body. And I didn't really like that. So I was like, you know, let me try this guy at home because I heard about him being like a really good doctor. And so I went to an in-person consultation with him. That was the one thing I was like, oh, yay, somebody that's like actually willing to see me in person. Cool, because it's so hard right now with coronavirus. Um, and when I went in, he was just so cool. Like, he was really chill and very had this like relaxing aura to him. He just made me feel really comfortable. His bedside manner was great and like... The other thing I really liked about him is that he asked me what I wanted to do 
and then like himself like in his words was like okay so this is what you want and like do you want this and do you want it this way instead of telling me like okay so this is what I'm gonna do to you I really like that he asked me what I wanted and like was very questioning of what exactly I wanted and he was telling me like yes or no he can do that for me so that was like the one thing I was like oh yeah and then he sent me the price and I was like oh yeah I definitely gotta go with you like Dr. Gavami in LA is very expensive the consultation itself was five hundred dollars I believe and it was virtual um and while I'm sure that like my results are absolutely guaranteed with him I'm not paying 15 grand for a fat transfer I'm sorry so um yeah and so the range of my fat transfer was between seven and nine grand that is for me being a skinny patient allegedly I didn't think I was skinny um so I was like yeah this is more reasonable this is what I wanted to pay originally um I had gotten quotes in New York before, prior and they had been around that same price Miami is about almost the same price so I was like yeah and this is at home I don't have to go anywhere I absolutely got to do this he just he would he just literally was like I just know it was meant to be. I always get these like gut feelings. And hi JLo. Um yeah. So I went with him. And the other thing, the other reason why I'm just so grateful that I picked him is that I feel like I had like a slight complication after surgery and he came and checked on me at my house twice. Not one time, but twice. And granted I do live thirteen minutes from the surgery center and I think like twenty minutes from his office. Um but, like, oh, I don't think I've ever heard of a surgeon that, like, really comes and checks. J-Lo! She's not liking that all the attention is on her. Oh, my God, my battery is going to die. Anyways, um, he came and checked on me in my house. And that, to me, is just, like, I picked the great doctor, a great doctor. Like, he really cares about his patients. You know, I was able to text him at like five in the morning if I needed medication or something he was really on it like he's just amazing and I recommend anybody go to him not just for a BBL but for boobs or fillers I get my fillers done with him I'm overall a Reza doll I don't even think I said his name yet his name is Reza Kordestani Dr. Reza Kordestani and while I don't think I'm going to actually like stand up in this video and show you guys my body I'll probably post a picture or two that I've taken my results are are great like I'm so happy I didn't want a big old diaper bag but I didn't want a big old like I, I wanted something very natural I didn't want a big but I, I wanted something that I can build if I want to or but I wanted something very natural very Drea like and I think he gave me exactly what I wanted and I'm very happy with my results um, when they say that you lose like 40% of the fat, they're not lying, you do. Because um, my butt was a lot bigger, I think, on the surgery table when I look at that video as to what it is now. But I'm still, like, even then, I'm very happy with my results. I'm very happy with my butt. And even if my butt were to get even smaller, my waist is so snatched that it doesn't fucking matter. Like, I didn't even know my waist was going to be that small. Anyways um let's talk about the bad things the bad parts um i would not do this twice i don't know how girls get bbls two times because i am not doing this twice i cannot do this twice i am different though i'm not really good with pain and i'm like so aware of everything that goes on in my body like whether it is what i eat or like on my period i feel everything um so i'm very self-aware and Surgery is not for me. I don't like feeling not well, and I really hated it. Um, the pain, I didn't feel pain. I didn't take any of my surgery meds that they prescribed for pain. I actually still have the bottle full. Um, I didn't take any of them. It felt like a hard workout, and I didn't want to take any opiates. I'm not very comfortable with opiates. So I didn't want to take them, and I didn't have to. That was great. But I threw up for five days following surgery. Um, I think that 
I have had, I had a bad reaction to the anesthesia. Um, I'm also a prior weed smoker, and I think all of those things just contributed. And I had the worst nausea I have ever experienced in my life. I lost way too much weight right after surgery. I looked so skinny. I was I looked really scary. Like I just had this big old butt and like a thin face and arms and legs. It was bad. Hi guys. Um, so my camera ended up dying last night or two nights ago and I had to go get my hair done the next day and just do a bunch of stuff. So um, I have tried to film this video now almost four times and I decided I really liked last night's um, video. I didn't want to start completely over so I'm just going to continue where I left off and I actually just got back from what is called a lymphatic drainage massage and I always tell girls when they're planning for a BBL you have to keep in mind that you're not just paying for the surgery you also got to pay for 8 to 10 massages 8 to 12 massages after your surgery and um, there are some surgeons that actually recommend that you don't get these massages and I think they're batshit crazy because if I didn't get these massages, I would be in a lot more pain and discomfort. It does help with preventing lumping of your stomach and sides or whatever. I know you guys have seen girls who have BBLs and their stomachs just don't look right. Um, all of that is prevented by getting these massages, these like post-op lymphatic drainage massages. Um, I go to these wonderful ladies in Woodbridge. I love my girl Audrey, like she takes such good care of me. Um, they're called Curvilina. They are Colombian, like their availability is great. They have good hours and on top of that, their prices are great. Um, they're Colombian and they sell actually the garments the Colombian garments that you have to wear, or in Spanish would be faja, um, that you have to After surgery, you have to wear this like faja-like garment underneath most all of your clothes for like the first three to four weeks. And it's recommended that you keep wearing it after mm -hmm. the fact for like another two months. And a lot of girls don't do this, I feel like. They like rush to be out of their garment and just like, that's how you, fuck it up and that's how you lose more fat I feel like um, so it's like so important that you wear your faja like if you don't you're wasting your money and I currently have mine on right now Shoot. but you can't see it because I have my waist trainer on top of it <laughs> so when I'm at home just chilling um, I wear my garment with my waist trainer on top and I just do that to like really maximize the results in my waist. Like I want my waist to stay as little as it is. It's so tiny right now. So it's just like overall a really good experience. So um, if you guys do get a BBL, I recommend you guys get your massages with them. Um, let them know I sent you if you can. But yeah, I know so many girls have questions and I don't want to be that girl that doesn't share my experience, especially if I'm comfortable sharing it. Like, I don't care. Why wouldn't I do it? So, thank you guys for checking me out. I hope I really answered everyone's questions at some point in this video thoroughly. But if I didn't, ladies, please feel free to reach out and um, I will answer any other questions you may have. So... Stay tuned, I have more videos coming. I'm gonna be doing a lot more like, this was more lifestyle, but I'm gonna be doing a lot more like makeup tutorials and like just my day-to-day -day life. Might get a little personal on here, you never know. Oh, that scares me. <laughs> but make sure you click the subscribe button and follow me on Instagram and Twitter and thanks for tuning in. Bye.